All right. So, good evening, everyone. We're going to start off with roll call. Uh, Tom Keegan. Here. George Sirenides. Here. Here. Keith Roberts. Present. John Kites. Here. Manny Langella. Here. And, and George. Uh, the other George is not here, right? I'm getting <laughs> the Doritos, right? I didn't want to say you weren't here, George. All right. Um, approval of the minutes of the September 8th meeting. Can I have a motion? Okay. Tom? All in favor, right? Aye. Aye, everybody approves the minutes. All in favor? Okay. Aye. All right. I hear someone's TV. I know that that's not mine. <laughs> yes, George. Madam Chair, I'm gonna abstain because I did not make the last meeting. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. One upstep abstention. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna move on to public participation. Ms. Deline, is there anybody? No, nope, we don't have any to speak. No. Nope. And do you have some old business? I do not. I do not, Madam Chair, unless anybody has any questions on ongoing projects. I'm right, gonna move on to new business. And I'm reading this from my phone, so please bear with me. All right, the statement is the city of Norwalk reserves the right. I'm sorry, I can hear someone's TV. Is there some? There's some now, feedback. Can you please turn that off? Madam Chair, you should just mute everyone. I can't do that. Oh, Delink, thank you. Okay. The city of Norwalk reserves the right to cancel the event for public health or safety reasons as determined by the city of Norwalk and its sole discretion. The city of Norwalk shall not be liable for damages arising from the cancellation of the event. Okay, so we're gonna move on to item number five, one. Authorize the mayor, Harry W. Rilling, to execute an agreement between the city of Norwalk and race postal engineering for professional engineering services for the design and permitting for the replacement of the Veterans Memorial Park Public Marina docks for a sum not to exceed $95,898. Account numbers noted. Will someone move the item? Thank you, Mr. Keegan. Okay. Ken? So, Madam Chair, um, so as you know, a, a few years ago, we had the boat launch uh, redone, as well as the transient docks um, at Veterans Park. And we do have a city marina which is on the Overton side of the park. And it's, in, it's been on a, on a decline for years. We've been, I've been patching that uh, since I've been here uh, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, we have a lot of issues with the fingers. Uh, the power on the docks is unreliable. We have plastic PVC that runs the water system, which has more leaks than not. Uh, the gangways need work. The door entering the ramps need help. So it's time for an overhaul of the city marina. So what you have before you is a, uh, a bid for race engineering, who was uh, a little bidder for the project and they're gonna do a redesign of the existing uh, city marina docks. Uh, we're not changing the footprint. We're not gonna change the size of the docks. Um, chances are all the piles are gonna remain. Uh, this is gonna be a replacement of the concrete, the gangway, uh, the entryways, the power uh, and the water. Questions? Uh, yes, Mr. Kites. Uh, real quick before I get into my question. Um, uh, Ken, is there a reason why we don't receive our recreation and parks agendas with the council agenda that we get anymore? I believe, I mean, I, I think Isabel emails them. Uh, what, did, what did Patty used to do? Put them in the mailboxes? 
Well, yeah, we, they used to go, we, you know, with the, um, the common council, just to make it convenient and cost effective, they would be included with the, um, with the council agenda because the meetings coincide, you know, as far as timing, you know, we had council yesterday, we have this today. <laughs> Just, just a thought. I mean, I'm, I'm still old school. I'm like looking at my phone right now. I can, <laughs> right. Um, no, I, can, old. I, I can have that done. She can print out the paper and, and drop it off in your mailbox. Is that, is that what are the, are the council agendas delivered to you or are they? Yes. Left yes. Up? yes. Okay. That's the only hard copy. Well, we used to get the finance committee too, which is tomorrow, but yes, that's how it, it, it was uh, working for quite some time. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to uh, Isabel for the next meeting. I mean, I don't know thank if everyone you. wants that. No, no, no. Thank you, John, because I was looking for it and I thought I threw it out with the, with right. the you know, mistakenly. And I'm on my phone, too. So I think we <laughs> usually get it. <laughs> yeah. So as we get older, hard it's harder to work. see, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was just me. But thank you. OK, Yeah, I'll handle that internally. Okay, first. great. Uh, yeah, first question up uh, is, is so dredging. Does that area need to be dredged before uh, the docks go in? No, no, it's, no, this is not, there's nothing, this is nothing really going on underwater with this project. Um, so no, no. Okay. I mean, I did, is it testing? I'm, I'm actually, I'm on the bridge at the, where my boat is and uh, right. we're going through a whole dredging project and it's like, we're, we're actually can't get out a certain direction because of all the sediment that's, you know, accumulated. Not I'm not, I'm not aware of any issues uh, getting in and out of the marina okay. um, at this Park. Are you aware of the last time that was dredged? Was it a part of that big project that happened? All the I don't think they went around ago? that far uh, with that with the big dredging project eight or nine years ago. I don't right. think it, it quite went around went around that far. Okay, so no issue. So I mean, what we did, we just got someone out to just check to make sure the heights were acceptable of the obviously. Well, they're going to send you know, race engineering is a pretty reputable uh, coastal design firm, and they mm -hmm. are going to send divers down too to check the base of the pilings. So any red flags that they see, uh, obviously they're gonna they're gonna make us aware. But on on above water inspections, uh, they didn't know anything like that was needed. Okay, yeah, because like we um, we can't do the docks until the dredging, and we found some PCPs in the in the soil, so oh, that turned yeah. turned into a whole thing. So, but now we can, we can't change the docks until you know it's it's it's, it's a process. So I just was curious if that was any yeah. any issue like that over there. And race was also involved. Uh, on the uh, on the uh, the launch side, so they were involved with that whole dredging and the docks and the launch ramps. So they're well aware of uh, working with Norwalk, you know who the uh, permittees are and, and the process they have to follow. Are they going to be using all 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 C or uh, um, I pay um, uh, composites uh, for this? Uh, it's it, it's probably going to end up being concrete, which is oh. what's there. Um, they're going to do a, a, a different finger attachment system because we're having a lot of troubles with the fingers now. Um, so they're going to have a whole new attachment system. Um, the actual main walkways are concrete, which has served us well. Wow. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ken. Any more questions for Ken? So I'm assuming that the concrete based on John's um, reaction is much better. John, as yeah, it's, someone it's, who's it's, not a voter. It, it weathers well, you know, it's, it's not easy on the feet, but it's, you know, as far as durability and longevity, it's it's definitely a good route to go. And for this- And as far as scenario. longevity, what, 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 what does that mean? How long as opposed to, are we talking 20, 30, 40 years or more? I would say over 20. Yeah. Any other questions? Ken, how-, how process going to be uh the design process yeah so the so design and permitting is probably going to take about a year uh, okay. permits are around six to seven months so the design pro the design process is probably going to take about five or six months all right thanks Ken. other questions okay. all in favor please say aye, aye. show your hands okay aye Aye. Aye. You're on mute, Madison. Right. You're on mute. You can't hear me? Got you now. I'm um, going to move on to 5 2. Authorized purchasing agent Sharon Connors to execute a purchase order with ME. 
O'Brien and Sons for the Oyster Shell Park Playground poured in place surfacing for a sum not to exceed $75,320 from account number noted. Someone move the item. Thank you, Mr. Keegan. Okay. And? So Madam Chair, this is uh, the playground at Oyster Shell Park, which was a, a Sandy Hook Memorial Playground installed uh, quite a while ago. Uh, that was a rubberized surface when it was installed and the surfacing deteriorated over the years. We had a lot of holes, we had a lot of uh, divots, we have a lot of settling. So the uh, surfacing actually had to be replaced. Um, this was actually a, um, we had these quotes probably about a year ago. Uh, so I assume that everything was approved by committee. So I actually had the project done because I have no patience and come to find out it was never approved by committee. So that's why it's before you now as a um, approving a purchase order. But the project's actually done. If you haven't seen it, it came out, it came out awesome. We get a lot of compliments on it. And, and now that surfacing should be good for another 15 years or so. Can't hear you, Darlene. I said, please say aye, a show of hands. Tom, John, George. Keegan, George, Manny. I got you, George. Thank you. And Kadeem, yes, thank you. All right. So I think that is unanimous and that's it. Can Seems kind of awesome. strange. I do have a question though, if you can just let us know, um, is there any um, update on starting the master plan? I know we're yes. waiting, we, we're gonna get going with that. So we'll have something for Mr. Stowers when he gets here. Correct, so I, um, uh, we actually, actually contacted the company on October 4th and they started their preliminary schedule, uh, which I did forward to you, I believe. Uh, so we actually have our first yeah. kickoff yeah. phone call on October 18th. Sorry, say that again. I still um, like actually, this spot better, but yeah. George, we can first. hear you, George. Sorry, you. Sorry about. We, we we actually have our preliminary work schedule set up by Kinley Horn, and we have our first kickoff uh, phone call on the 18th, which is Monday. Oh, there are no other items or anything else. Tom, you're on mute, John. Oh, no, I was just going to say, uh, Ken, is this the last meeting you'll, you'll be? Um, uh, no, uh, I believe Mr. Stowers is not starting until December 6th. Right. So you probably have me for another meeting. And I'll probably be here at the next meeting too to introduce him. Okay. Great. I'll be around. I'm not going anywhere. You're a rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's like Alan Lowe. You're not going anywhere. You think you can get away yeah, and rope you it back in. So there's only a few of you like that around. So, all right. So, Madam, motion to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Excellent. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Everybody, have a good night. Thank you for your time. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night, you guys. Bye. Right, thanks, have a good night, everyone. Bye.